but Chunky family. It's Jamie here, and I thought I'd take you through a 60 minute, two sets of everything. What? So we're gonna move fast. So if today's not the day that you want to um, meet me on your mat, then save this um, class, this recording, and try it again later out throughout your week, or perhaps now is when you wanna do it. Um, so let's try and get this done in a quick 60 minutes. I'm gonna move fast. Bring your big toes together, your heels together. We begin with deep breathing, pranayama. Interlace all 10 of your fingers, glue your knuckles under your chin. Thumbs crossed, touching gently at your throat. Contract your leg muscles from your quadriceps, your glutes, your hips. Now feel them one tight contraction, one piece throughout the whole breathing exercise. Find one point of focus with your chin parallel to the floor. Meditate with me, have a great class. Inhale, please begin. Lift your elbows up towards the ceiling. Suck your stomach in, lift your chest up. Elbows just a little bit higher, this first one. Exhale, head back. Slowly push your head back, way, way back. Try to see the wall behind you. Bring your palms together, wrists together. Bring your elbows together. Lift it off of your chest. Inhale, head down. Notice the heels pushing into the ground. Keep your hips over your heels. Feel your legs and hips still contracted like you set them. Exhale, head back. Open your mouth. Big H-A. Ah, ha sound. Bring your palms together. Remember which thumb is on top, elbows touch. Inhale, even though you can't see them, feel your feet flat, not curling in or out. Push down firmer through the ground, elbows up higher. Exhale, head back. This time, pay attention to your throat. Use your throat to breathe. Your mouth is only the passageway, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Bring your chin parallel to the floor, suck your stomach in. Suck it in just a little bit more and then lift your elbows up a little bit higher, full lungs, exhale, head back. Slowly push your head back, open your mouth. Exhale as much as possible, as slow as possible, as long as possible, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, slowly head down, chin parallel to the floor, lift your elbows up as high as possible, keep inhaling more and more and more. Exhale, slowly head back, nice and slow, exhale as much as you can, keep exhaling, bring your elbows together to touch. Inhale, head down, make this breath a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, longer, fuller, exhale, head back, slowly push your head back, open your mouth, Keep the weight in your heels, but notice if your big toes have lifted, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Coming to the last few breaths, concentrate on stacking your joints, shoulders over your ankles. Exhale with your hips right underneath those shoulders. Don't let them push ahead of the shoulders or behind your butt, your feet. Bring your elbows together, touch. Inhale, head down. I want you to feel how you can lengthen your spine by pushing into the ground. Lift your elbows up, lengthen the vertebra, a little space between each one. Exhale, get ready for these last two. Your deepest, deepest breath of all your week, of all of May. Inhale, head down. Big breath here. Standing deep breathing exercise, setting our pace, our tone for the class of how we breathe. Exhale. Palms together. Wrists together, elbows touch. Inhale with me, last one, our deepest breath. Inhale more, chest up more. Pick your heart up a little higher, your clavicle up, stretch up. Exhale, head back, slowly exhale, as slowly as you can, as long as you can. Palms together, hold those elbows lifted off of your chest, touching each other at the end, and that's good, arms down at your side. Let's do our half moon warm up, keeping your big toes together, knees facing forward, feet facing forward. Inhale, arms up over your head sideways, interlace all 10 fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Take a deep breath, stretch up nice and tall, and let's bend. Bend body to the right and bend body to the left. So if you remember which one you did in your pranayama, which thumb was on top, maybe you alter the grip, maybe play around with it between two sets of 90 minute yoga. Right, left, right, left, <clears throat> stop in the middle. All right, we're gonna set the hips for all of half moon so we can really focus on stillness and breath. Push hips forward, open hips and pelvis, upper body back, open chest and rib cage. Now your muscles and your hips, set the memory. How does it feel? Deep breath, stretch up nice and tall. 
and slowly bend your body to the right, push your hips to the left, push your hips beyond your flexibility. Your hips are already set. You have muscles in the hips. Feel it and don't move them. Upper body back. Lift your chin up. Press your left hip forward if your hips slid. Keep the hips in one line. Bring the right shoulder forward. Everyone can feel this opening in the chest. Lock out your elbows. Squeeze your palms together. Exhale a little bit of air with me. Come down, push. Push. Push harder at the end. Inhale, breathing and slowly come back up. Stretch up nice and long, chin up. Slowly bend your body to the left. Remember those hips are already forward, upper body back. Push your hips beyond your flexibility, tremendous stretching. All down the right side of the body, feel that stretching from your armpits to your hips. Remember those hips are set. You have memory when the hip muscles are soft, they've relaxed. So go back to the memory. Bring your left shoulder forward. Open up your chest, lift your chin up. Squeeze your palms together, push your hips to the right. Come down with me, exhale a little bit of air. Come down, push and push and push harder at the end. Inhale, breathing and slowly come back up. Backward bend, take a deep inhale and relax your head all the way back. We're looking for the wall and where it meets the ceiling or beyond that, down the back wall. Take a deep breath, reach up nice and tall and bring your head back and your chin back more. Bring your arms back immediately. Bend your spine backwards. Push your stomach, thighs, hips, pelvis, everything forward. Arms back, look back, go back, way back, more back at the end, weight in our heels, wrists tight. Inhale, come up, suck your stomach in. And if we're really tight, walk down your leg, bend your body down from the low spine, put your hands on the floor one at a time, bend your knees and alternate. If bending the knees doesn't feel good right now, keep a huge bend in your knees and sway. Sway the hips from left to right. You may feel extreme tightness in the hips. You need to work on that. <clears throat> okay, bend your knees a lot. Grab your heels from behind. Step on all five fingers of each hand. Thumb with index finger. All five fingers together, eventually baby fingers. You want them to start touching side by side, guys, but eventually your elbows touch behind your calves. Don't lose the grip. Relax your head, suck your stomach in, keep it in, and slowly start to lift your hips up. As you lift your hips up, pull your body down. Keep your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. Continuously keep pulling, pulling creates the stretch. Roll forward into the toes, lift your hips up. If your stomach came out, go ahead, pull it back in, and lift your butt up a little bit higher, push your knees back. If you're almost to lock out, your legs are almost contraction, then the face may start to touch. Try to lock your knees, Lock your knees, lock your knees, stomach in, inhale, come up, palms together, and slowly rise with a little bend in your knees is great, arms all the way up to the ceiling, exhale, arms down at your sides, have a moment of stillness. There's change happening in the body, maybe some relief. Inhale, arms up over your head again, interlace all 10, alternate your grip. Just be mindful if you're remembering which one you always go to. Hips forward, upper body back, if there's a pattern, if it's a comfortable one or there's comfort, maybe no growth. Hips forward, upper body back, chin up. Take a deep breath and slowly bend body to the right. Especially now more than ever, we need to accept change. So do one thing a little bit different in this posture, one thing a little bit different in awkward. Stay with me, hips forward, upper body back, chin up. Push left hip forward, bring your right shoulder forward. Maybe it's the gaze you're locking into differently. You always move your eyes, come down, push. Come down, push, feel your feet. You don't have to look at them, I'm feel them. Come down, push, inhale, breathing and come up. Let's lengthen again. We never miss that opportunity to get space between the vertebra. Take a deep breath and slowly bend to the left, push hips right. Push your hips beyond your flexibility. Remember the muscle memory in those hips. We know when the inner thighs are not on, bring your left shoulder forward, lift your chin up. Do something a little different on the side. Find your gaze, find your breath, come down, push and push and push inhale and slowly come back up second set back bend take a deep breath head back okay lift up your armpit skin push your hands up higher and let your chin go back all the way further than it's ever gone bring your arms back immediately and although we can't see our feet feel them push into the ground push your upper body back push your stomach thighs hips forward now lift your ribs up and drop your head back a little bit more. Arms back, look back, tighten your grip, yogis. Go back, 
more back at the end. Inhale and come up. Suck your stomach in and very slowly bend your body down. Mindful of how you move in forward bending. I want to offset the weight and have one foot with more weight. So keep that weight even. All right, let's grab our heels, second set, hands to feet. Step on your five fingers of each hand, baby fingers touch side by side. Thumb with index, elbows behind your legs on the calf muscle. Lay your stomach on your thigh. See if you can get your armpit skin to even get to the knees. All right, let's go. Pull your heels, lift your hips. And feel this awesome stretch that we appreciate in the hamstrings and the hips and the spine. Now we have to release something in the shoulders away from our ears. Continuously pull. Breathe into that spot. Lift your hips. Push your knees back. As you push your knees back, shoulders away from your ears, we wrap your elbows. Roll forward more. Intensity is there. That's the change, maybe. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Slowly bring a little bend to the knees, three grip palms together, inhale, come up, stomach in. Exhale, arms down at your sides, breathe. Step your right foot to the right, awkward. Six inches apart between toes and heels, your feet in each. Inhale, arms up parallel to the floor, five fingers together, lock your elbows. Stretch your arms forward, try to touch what's in front of you. Exhale, breathing, stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair, feet flat. 100% weight in the heels. Lift the chest. As you arch your upper body back, remember pull that stomach in depression in the abdominal wall. Chest and chin up, rib cage visible. Open those knees up six inches. Lean back, junkies. Lean back. Fall back. Test your balance. Go way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up slowly. All right, getting in those hips. It's good for us. Come up to the tippy tops of the toes. If there's lots of plantar fasciitis pain, get up high to the tippy toes. Push your big toes down, push your heels up on the top of your toes, suck your stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair. We always fumble with balance. That's okay, this is how we get stronger. Now let's get the heels up. Start stretching in the feet, heels up, knees up, chest up. Come up higher onto the toes, sit in the chair, not below the chair. Inhale, come all the way up, relax your feet, keep your arms there, come up a half inch off your heels, bring your knees together. Count to 10 in your head and go down slowly. Use all the counts. Keep your shoulders, hips and head against the wall, all the way down, all the way down, as slow as possible, leaning against the wall. Lift your hips a half inch off your heels, squeeze your knees together down and forward, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your thighs, and from the side, looks like we're holding a box. Squeeze your knees together, suck your stomach in. Inhale, breathing and slowly come up, leaning against the wall. Right foot back to place. Arms down at your sides, breathe. Allow the standing at attention to be for the needs for your breathing, recovery. Right foot steps to the right awkward. Inhale, arms up. Listen carefully, exhale, suck your stomach in, sit down, hips in the chair, three, two, one. Open your knees six inches, lift your chest, arch your upper body back. Everyone pull your navel to the spine, open up the toes and sit back a little more into the round of your heels. The round of your heels that's invisible, lean back, fall back, go back, way back. Inhale, come up. Come up to the tippy toes. Stretch your spine up, suck your stomach in, Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Three, two, one. Sit in the chair. Bring your heels over the crease of the toes. Big toes down, heels up. Suck your stomach in. Come up higher on the toes at the end. Inhale, come up. Now stay up. Touch the knees and go down. Remember, we go down only as much as the knees stay together. If the knees started to open, that's where you'd stop all the way down, it's pressure, inner thigh muscles working, hover, hips over the heels, don't let them rest, press your knees down and forward, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, squeeze your knees together, inhale breathing and slowly come up, leaning against the wall, right foot back, arms at your sides. This is eagle. 
Inhale, arms up over your head. Swing your right arm under your left arm. Twist his elbows, twist it wrists. I'm having to interlace my fingers from stay-at-home practice because of the tightness in the shoulders. Making some adjustments. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. Please sit down as low as you can today. Arch your upper body back. Lift your right leg over the left leg. Remember, don't touch the knees. Go off that knee high above it with your thigh. Wrap your foot behind your calf muscle and then squeeze the thighs against one another and draw both of your knees to the right. Draw your right hip back to get your wrists, elbows, knees, and feet, everything in one line. Suck your stomach in, lift your chest up, arch your upper body back at the end. Inhale up. Left arm swing under the right. Eagle. Interlace if you need to. Thumbs toward your mouth. Pull your elbows down. Sit your hips as low as you can into the chair today. Stay down there. Upper body back. Left leg, lift over that knee. Remember, don't put any weight on the knee. Higher off that knee is better. Wrap the foot behind your calf muscle. Now both knees need to be drawn over to that left side. And your left hip pull back. It's very tight, I know, from all the sitting. So great to get into that spot. Feel that. It's improving our circulation. Sit down more. Our flexibility range of motion. Upper body back. Essential things we need. Upper body back at the end. Change. Inhale. Arms up. We do it again. Right arm go. Under the left. Twist at your elbows. Twist at your wrist. Mindful. If one wrist is very, very bent. Eventually straighten them. Be gentle. Sit down into the chair. Upper body back, right leg lift, zoom, wrap it over the left. Wrap your foot behind your calf muscle, draw both knees right, right hip back. To get your wrist, your forearm, elbows, hips, knees, ankles, everything in one line, lift your chest up, arch your upper body back. Inhale up, I threw in those forearms. Last side, left arm under the right, eagle. Twisted elbows, twisted the wrist, straighten out those wrists gentle pull the elbows down one more hips in the chair upper body back stay down there left leg left zoom wrap it over the right wrap your foot behind your calf and then right away go for it see what kind of range of motion you can gain don't wait until the end draw both knees left left hip back left hip back try and press the left hip against the back wall as if you're resting your hips on them or leaning up against them that's it chest up pull your stomach in upper body back change inhale arms up Exhale, arms down. This is your balancing series, head to knee. Dandiya Mana Janya Shurasana, toes and heels together, shift body weight into your left leg. Make your 10 fingers interlace, nice tight grip. Right thigh bicep parallel to the floor, flex the toes up. Round forward, pick up your right foot in front of you, two to three inches behind your toes. If you're not quite at your foot yet, remember it's your upper spine that's initiating the rounding for that one day that you're able to grab out to in or in to out. If that standing leg is locked, then only inhale slowly and gently. Lift your right leg up. Make it exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. With your left leg locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your heel forward. Turn your toes back. Try to get both legs locked. From the side, upside down letter L. If both legs are locked and you have your balance, Bend your elbows to the floor, pull your navel in, relax your shoulders down, round your spine. Inhale, slowly come up, straighten your arms, foot down, feet together. Shift body weight into the right leg, flex stomach in, interlace 10 fingers, left thigh bicep parallel, flex left toes, round forward, grab your foot. Two inches behind the toes. Remember if you're not at the foot yet, you're initiating all the right steps to be there soon. Look forward, concentrate one spot. That's your focus, your gaze. If that standing leg is locked, inhale slowly and gently. Left leg lift up. Make it exactly parallel to the floor. Even if the leg is not straight, you can still kick out with your left leg. The right leg always straight. Heel forward to his back. If both legs are straight, then bend your elbows. Otherwise, try and unbend the left knee. Underneath that left knee will straighten. Focus on lengthening it. Slowly straighten both arms, feet together. 
Arms relax at your sides. Second set, to self touch. Shift body weight to your left leg. Lift your right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Stomach and yogis round forward, grab your right foot. This is a lot of balance and a lot of focus, a lot of determination. Concentrate on your left leg, standing leg locked. Inhale, right leg lift up. Make it exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Left leg locked. Take a deep breath. Kick your heels forward. Turn your chest back. If both legs are locked, you have your balance. Bend your elbows. If the elbows go beneath the calf muscle, then tuck your chin, round your spine. Touch the forehead to the knee. Standing leg locked. Slowly head up. Straighten your arms. Foot down, feet together. Shift body weight to the right leg. Standing leg locked, right leg. Lift your left thigh bicep parallel, flex your toes. Stomach in, round forward, grab your left foot, 10 fingers interlaced. Focus, concentrate forward, right leg locked. Standing leg locked, inhale, left leg lift up. Make it exactly parallel, no higher, no lower. Flex your toes back to feel the flexion at your left ankle to stretch left Achilles tendon. If both legs are straight, you have your balance. Bend your elbows down. If elbows go beneath your calf muscle, tuck your chin, round your spine, touch your exact forehead on the knee, standing leg locked, stomach in. Slowly change, head up, straighten out your arms, feet together, arms at your side. Standing boat, bring your right hand up, turn it out to the side, grab inside your right ankle behind you, all five fingers together, Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Bring your left arm up in front of you. Bring the two knees together to start. Now lift your chin so the gaze is lifted. When that gaze is lifted, you're gonna feel the chest stay up. The belly comes down. Take a deep breath, kick your right foot back and up. Over the top of your head. Stretch your left arm forward. Try to touch what you're looking at, that high up spot. Keep that chest up there. Bring your belly down parallel to the floor. Kicking and stretching equals simultaneous. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Abdomen down, stretch forward, kick back, kick up one more time, eventually standing split. Change, feet together, arms at your side. Left side, bring your left hand up, turn it out to the side. Grab inside your left ankle behind you. Nice tight grip. Right arm up, two knees together to start. Walk your right leg. Take a deep breath, stretch up towards the ceiling, kick your left foot back and up over the top of your head. Stretch your right arm forward. Try to touch what you're looking at. At the same time, make the two shoulders move in opposing directions. Keep the chest up high where the focal point is. Bring your abdomen down parallel to the floor. Kick up harder, kick up higher. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down. Lock your knee, point your toes up, kick up one more time. Change, feet together, arms at your sides. Second set, standing bow pulling, Dandiyamana, Dandiyarasana. Bring your right hand up, turn it out to the side, grab inside your right ankle behind you, all five fingers together, nice tight grip. Bring your left arm up, two knees together to start, lock your left leg. Take a deep breath, stretch up towards the ceiling, kick. In 10 seconds, we'll hold for 10 seconds. Seven, six, get in your deepest expression in four, three, two, hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, change, kick, come out, and get your side. Left side, bring your left palm up, grab inside your left ankle behind you. Five finger grip, don't lose the grip. Right arm up, train the right thigh to go strong when that right arm begins. Push the right foot down, stretch the right fingertips up, not forward, we need to lengthen before we bend the spine. Kick your left foot back and up. Over the top of your head eventually, two feet in one line. Stretch your right arm forward. Try to touch what you're looking at. 
Bring your abdomen down, parallel to the floor. Kicking and stretching equal simultaneous, body down. Kick harder, kick higher. Kick up one more time. Touch what you're looking at. Change. Feet together, arms at your sides. Come to the back of your mat for stick. Balancing stick to Wadandasana. Inhale, arms above your head, interlace your fingers. Release your index. Cross your thumbs. Chin up off your chest, upper body back. Right leg, big step forward, lock both knees, point your toes. Bring your body down and your leg up. Keep that navel drawn into the spine to support this forward movement. Leg up, stretch forward, stretch back, stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up, feet together, arms stay there. Lock your elbows, chin up, left leg, big step forward. Lock both knees. Bring your body down, your leg up, hold it with me for 10 seconds. Chin away from your chest. Now feel short. Body lock, both knees, point your toes, stretch, stomach and stretch. Inhale, come up. Arms down and just breathe. Here we rush, rush, rush the heart. Inhale, arms up, second set. Try that other thumb on top. Interlace the tongue, release the index, thumbs cross. Chin up, stretch up tall, right leg, big step forward. Lock both knees, point your toes, bring your body down and your leg up. Do something different in the second set, maybe the grip or your elbows. Never ever have you felt this tight before. Never ever have you felt all the case in your forearms straighten out. Lengthen, stretch, inhale, come up. Arms at your ears. One more. Left leg, big step forward. Lock both knees, point toes. Come down, leg up. As straight and long as Arms down, come to the top or left of your mat. Standing, separate leg stretching. Inhale, arms up over your head. Right foot step to the right, four feet, arms down, parallel to the floor. Remember, this is your custom step, according to how tall you are, or your flexible hips and legs. Okay, you can always make it less wide if you don't need it so wide. Lock your knees, suck your stomach in, and slowly bend. Bend your body down from the low spine towards the floor. Grab outside your heels, all five fingers together. Thumb with your index finger. I'm going to turn sideways. All five fingers together. Roll forward and pull. Okay, this needs to feel pretty good in the grip for you to get a good pull. I want both shoulders to feel something and then lift the shoulders away from your ears. Pull the body down. Do something a little different, a little new, a little bit of change. Contract your legs, shoulders up away from your ears. Roll forward, pull harder. Touch your forehead to the floor between your feet. Slowly we come up. Remove your hands, pull your belly in. Inhale up, feet together, arms at your sides. Second set, inhale, arms up. Right foot step to the right, four feet, arms down, parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line. Contract your leg, stomach in. Slowly bend your body down from the low spine towards the floor. Grab outside your heels, all five fingers together. Thumb with your index. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight in the toes. Contract your legs, bring your chin more towards your chest. Pull your navel in, pull as hard as you can, lock your legs. Roll more forward, this is it, pull. Try to touch your forehead to the floor in between your two big toes. Inhale, slowly come up. Right foot back, arms at your sides. Breathe. This is triangle pose. Big inhale, arms above your head, side base. Right foot to the right, four feet, arms down, parallel to the floor, two heels in one line, hips forward, upper body back. Turn the right foot to the right, bend your right knee, make your right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, hips forward, upper body back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, move your arms at the same time, right elbow in front of the right knee. Reach down and feel for the big and second toe. Don't rest on it, hover above it. Look up, stretch up, left arm up, right arm down. Two arms stretching in opposing directions. Pull your stomach in, left foot flat, left hip forward, right knee back. Reach up and down, touch the toes, inhale up. 
turn your right foot in. Push both hips forward so the low back is not back bending. Turn your left foot out. Bend your left knee, sit down, 90 degree, L shape, upside down letter L. Hips forward, arms back, spine straight in the center. Slowly move your arms, left elbow in front of the left knee, right above the big and the second toe. Right arm up, left arm down, look up, chin to the shoulder. Two arms, shoulders stretching in opposing directions. Push both hips forward. Push your left knee back, reach down, touch the toes, stretch up, touch the ceiling, inhale, come up. Turn your left foot in, right foot back to place. Arms down at your sides. It always gets me. 14 years later and triangle gives me the rush in the heart. Gotta, you can always depend on it for that. Let's do it again, second set. Big inhale breath, like a marathon, you know, you know the heart's gonna come up. Right foot, big step to the right. Arms down, parallel to the floor, two hips, one line, upper body back, turn the right foot to the right. Bend your right knee, sit down. Nothing easy about holding the lunge. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, move your arms, especially if these legs haven't been used in triangle in a while. We need these inner thighs and hip muscles. Hips forward, upper body back, touch the toes. Left arm up, right arm down. Turn the chin to the shoulder. Make a big twist in the upper spine at the end. Inhale, come up. Put, turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Bend your left knee, sit down. Left thigh, bicep parallel to the floor. Hips forward, arms back. Move your arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Stretch your two arms in opposing directions. Right arm stretch up, left arm stretch down. Look up, chin to the shoulder. Stomach in, push both hips forward. Push left knee back, right leg locked, right foot flat. Reach up, touch the ceiling. Inhale, come up, turn left foot in, right foot back, and arms down at our sides. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms together. Just cross your thumb. Stretch up towards the ceiling. Right foot step to the right, 36 inches. Pick up your toes, pivot on the heel. Turn your back foot in, push your left hip forward. Two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, look at your stomach, and slowly you go down. Remember this one, stomach in. It's a super sucked in stomach. Tuck your chin, round your spine, touch your forehead, exactly to your knee. Bend your knee if you need to. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch your arms forward, lock your elbows. Press the floor with your fingertips. Try to lock your front knee at the end. Change, inhale, come up. Palms together, chin up last. Pick up just the toes and pivot on both heels all the way to the other side. Turn your back foot in. Push your right hip forward to get two hips in one line. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Super sucked in stomach. Let's go down. Forehead to the knee. You can bend the left knee. Throat choked. Keep breathing normal. Round your spine. A lot happening in this uncomfortable zone here, guys. Stay with me. Push your left hip up towards the ceiling. Try to get a space between your left hip, left rib cage. Press your fingers into the floor. At the end, try to straighten your front knee. Inhale, come up, chin to chest. Arms stay with your ears, pivot center, right foot back, arms down. Standing, separate leg, head to knee. Dandiyamana, Bipaktapada, Janusharasana. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Press the other thumb. Stretch up, lock your elbows, chin up. Right foot step 36 inches. Make it a nice clean transition. Pick up toes, pivot heels. Turn back foot in, push left hip forward, tuck chin and go, forehead on the knee. Round your spine. Push the fingertips into the ground. Notice how you can get a little higher and higher with your waistline on the back. Round your spine more. Bend your knee if you need to. Hold it, forehead on the knee. Get that back heel down, back leg locked. Try to straighten your front knee. Inhale, come up. 
arms with your ears, getting into those hips again, the spine. Pick up your toes. Turn pivot 185. Turn your back foot in, push your right hip forward, tuck your chin and go, forehead on the knee. Keep your 36 inches between the two feet as if you split your mat with your two feet, 36 inches, the width, and a little more, tuck your chin round your spine. Super sucked in stomach, Let's pull it in more. Chin tucked, throat choked. Get that right heel down, lock your right knee. Try to straighten your left knee at the end. Inhale, come up. Pivot center, I needed that posture. Right foot back to place, arms down at your side. Come back to the middle of your mat where you began. Let's do tree and toe stand. Shift your body weight into your left foot. One or both hands, grab your right foot from underneath. The sole of your foot facing up towards the ceiling. Be gentle with your knees. If knees are very tight, with new pain, new routines and new sitting, lots, a little bit extra maybe, new agenda or routine, so it's gonna cause some new stuff. Be gentle. Push both hips forward to open the pelvis. Right knee down and back to open the hips. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. If your foot will stay, gently place the palms together in prayer and breathe. Everyone contract the muscles all the way up your left leg. Draw your belly all the way into the spine and stretch up. Change, right leg down. Switch, grab left foot. Tree pose, Tadasana. The sole of your foot facing up towards the ceiling. Be gentle with your knees. Push both hips forward to open the hips, pelvis. Left knee down and back. Left hand up, center of the chest. If your foot will stay, gently place the palms together in prayer. Everyone pull up the muscles in your right leg all the way up to the glutes. Draw your navel in and stretch up tall. Change. We'll do a toe stand and then lay down on our back for Savasana. Shift body weight to your left foot. One or both hands, grab your right foot. The sole of your foot facing up again. This time go where it's comfortable on your thigh. Both hands to prayer or one hand holding the foot. Now the gaze. Shift it to the ground. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your body down. Your left leg is a straight one. Both palms on the floor. This is meaning your hamstring is allowing this and the hips are allowing it. You're not overdoing it. When both hands touch the floor, sit down and walk your hands around the sides. Lift your chest up. Try to push the right knee down to get your knees in one line. Bring your left hand up center of the chest, right hand up to meet it. Stretch up towards the ceiling, hips up off the heel. Change hands on the floor, gently come back into your tree. And tree release. Let's do the other side toe stand. One or both hands, grab your left foot. Place where it's comfortable on the right thigh. One or both hands to prayer. Shift gaze. Suck stomach in. Bend body down from the low spine. This is saying that your hamstring on the right side, your hips are already allowing this movement. Both hands touch. That's when you go ahead and bend your right knee. Walk your hands around the side. Stretch your spine up. Push the left knee down. Bring your left hand up center of the chest. Then right hand up to meet it. Last thing is the gaze, shifting it forward from the floor. Change, hands on the floor, push your body back up into tree. And then tree release, acknowledge yourself by saying, I showed up, I'm healing my body today. Good choice, turn around, lie down on your back, Savasana. All right, so let's lay down, meditate together, even though this is much more of an introspective going to be personal to you, like my savasana is to me. Heels touch, toes turn out to the sides, palms facing upward. Draw your shoulders down and back and relax your shoulders away from your ears. And that gaze that you selected is very meaningful. It's not just some random spot. This can really help you with your meditation and breathing and focus. Breathe through your nose. Good 
the more so best with me. The four series postures will begin in a moment. This integration that's happening now from the standing to the floor series, all the postures that we've completed from standing, weaving into the body, all the medical benefits, things that will feel better later. Let's begin. Bend your right leg for wind or moving pose. Interlace your 10 fingers. Pull the right knee to the right shoulder. Pull your knee down and freeze it. We always have to find stillness. Put a sure breath. Is it forced? Can you hear it? Left leg straight. If your left calf is high off the floor, flex your toes up. Get the calf muscle to push down against the ground. Tuck your chin, elbows in. Everybody pull your stomach in. Squared shoulders on this one. Change, right leg down, left leg up. 10 fingers interlace. Pull the knee to the left, pull your knee down and in. Create that pinch-like sensation in your hip joint. Freeze there, right leg straight, right calf muscle on the floor. Hug those elbows into your body. Pull your stomach in. Keep those two shoulders squared. Pull down a little extra hard, pull more, pull harder, change, left leg down. Bring your both legs up. At the same time, wrap your arms over the top of your legs. If you need to lift your head up, that's cool. Then put it back down, grab your opposite elbows. If you're not quite at your elbows, cliffhanger grip with the fingertips. And then spider walk those fingertips and grip some more skin. Relax your feet side by side position. And now feel the knees squeeze together and push the hips down to the floor. Let's lengthen the low spine. Pull your belly in, push the hips down, stretch the top of your head forward. Change, legs down, arms down, Savasana. There was a tourniquet-like effect. So allow your body to be still for your circulation purpose. Oxygenated, nutrient-rich blood deep into our tissues. Second set, right leg lifted up, 10 finger interlace, grip. Wind removing pose is a gas exchange. Try and create that pressure right there in that right abdominal wall area and don't back off. Keep it there, keep it active, keep it current, breathe through it, tolerate it, elbows in, left leg straight, left calf muscle touching. Pull down more yogis, pull harder, pull one more time. Change, right leg down and left leg left up. 10 fingers interlace, pull the left knee to the left shoulder, pull your knee down and in, and freeze. Right away, you're connecting to movement, matching it to your breath, noticing stillness on every side, each set, pull harder, pull down more, change, left leg down. Both legs lift them up. Wrap your opposite arm over the top of your legs. Remember to squeeze the knees together and lower those hips down. Eventually, you want to go lower than two inches from the knees. Go low, low, low. Keep spider walking those arms. Go lower, lower. Push the stomach with the legs. Push the hips down. Try to get the tailbone lower to the mat. Stretch that low spine. Chin towards your chest. Hold on to it. Get deep compression on your digestive organs. About 25 plus feet coiled. Push down on that space. Change. Legs down, arms down. Savasana. Okay, let that circulation now integrate all the benefits happening now. Breathe. We'll do a sit up. If you have acute back pain, skip it. Roll to the left, roll to the right. It's not worth it. Otherwise, feet together, feet flex. Keep your heels on the floor. Arms up over your head. Do not let them leave your head. Cross just your thumbs. Suck your stomach in. Sit up. Grab your big toes as you exhale once. Bend your elbows to the floor. Exhale twice. Okay, let's do cobra. Roll over onto your stomach, chin forward, neck flat. We need our hands very precise, right at the tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Get all the five fingers together, glue it down, legs together tight. We now have a cobra tail. Don't open it. Look forward. Now we begin, look up and come up to the belly button. You can use your hands to get you to the navel. Then do the rest with the upper body muscles. Just let those hands be holding you there. Relax your shoulders down. Stretch your elbows towards your hips. Keep your arms in L. Keep them 90 degrees. Look up. Come up. More up at the end. And slowly lower down. Chin to the mat. Then bring your left ear to the towel. Belly down, Savasana feels amazing. If you can just... Let the left ear cup to the floor. Keep an apple space between your chin and shoulder. All right, let's do it again, chin forward, cobra. Top of the fingers again in line at the top of the shoulders. Bring your legs together nice and tight. 
Most of us squeeze the legs for a second for setup, but I want you to concentrate on constant contraction from the lower body. Look up and we're beginning. We're initiating with eyes. Look up and go. Come up to the belly button. Use your hands if you need to to get to the navel. Now tune into the legs. Are you pushing both legs? Keep them down on the ground. Head up, hug those elbows in. Do something a little different than you wouldn't normally do. Look up, change a little bit. Come up, come up one more time. Slowly lower down, chin to the floor, right ear to the towel, swath. Cobra pose will help to reduce stress, anxiety, pressing on our adrenal glands, right by the kidneys. These backward bends will help to heal the spine. Arms underneath your body, locust pose, salabhasana, palms flat. You can move one arm under at a time. If the arms are not going under today, please make sure they're straight as possible next to the body. Pinky fingers touch side by side. Spread out your 10 fingers nice and wide. Chin forward, relax your left leg. Don't use it. Lock your right knee, point your right foot toes. Inhale, lift your right leg up and notice if you only use your left shoulder. Lift your leg up, 45 degrees, contract the thigh. Now point the toes a little bit up. Come up one more time, slowly work that negative. You control the down, relax the right, lock the left, point the left foot toes, inhale, left leg lift up. Notice if you only use the right shoulder. Lift your leg up, 45 degrees. Contract the thigh, point the toes a little bit more upward, lock the knee, lift it up one more. Slowly bring the left leg down. Bring your mouth to your mat. Now your muscles need to have memory in the shoulders to notice which one's not being used for this one. Mouth down. Take a deep breath and lift your both legs up. Most of us find a 70, maybe 40, 30, 70 rather, 60, 40, where we're not even. Press down both shoulders. Lift your legs up, lock your knees, point your toes, legs up one more. Change. It's an uneven ratio, basically. Left ear to the towel, Savasana. So this is really paying attention to your upper body muscles. There's not many Bikram postures that work the upper body. Here's your chance. Let's do it again. Chin forward, locus, arms underneath the body, palms flat. So good. We're working our upper body and core muscles. Chin forward, relax your left leg, lock your right knee, locus, right leg lift up. Now train the body to notice if you stop using one shoulder or one palm or one thumb, right leg up, lock your knee, point your toe, leg up, slowly bring your leg down, relax it. Lock your left, point your left foot toes, inhale, lift your leg up and hold it there, breathe in stillness. All the fingers down, both shoulders down, chin down, leg up, one more, change, left leg down. With memory, training our shoulders, mouth down. Legs together nice and tight, take a deep breath, lift. Both legs up at the same time. That sensation you remembered from the last locuses, press down through your palms, lift your legs up, come up, go up, more up, change, slowly down, right ear to the towels of awesome. Do full locus, chin forward, arms out to the sides like airplane wings, all five fingers together. Thumb with index finger, wrists in line with the shoulders, or maybe even a little bit more in front. Legs together nice and tight. Take a deep breath. Full lungs, inhale, arms, body, head, legs, everything lift up. Look up, eyes up, chin up, come up, exhale breathing, come up one more time. Change, slowly lower down, left ear to the towel, Savasana. Chin forward, second set. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Five fingers together, legs together, nice and tight. Take a deep breath. We're going up together. Lift, arms, body, head, legs. I want you to feel the big toes touch each other. Now push one against the other upward. Arms up a little more, chin up a little bit back more. Eyes up, look up, legs up, come up. Change, right ear to the towel. Savasana, waste no time to get into your Savasana. Right away, surrender, let the floor support you. Relax all your muscles. Let's do bow pose, chin forward. Grab your feet from the outside with your five fingers together, thumb with your index finger. 
knees and wrists six inches apart. Take a deep breath and kick your both legs up at the same time continuously. Keep kicking, don't stop kicking. Roll forward a little bit, straighten out your wrists, knees in a little bit, head up, look up, kick up, kick back, kick up one more time. Slowly come down, left ear to the towel, Savasana. Completely relax. Toe pose. Chin forward, grab your feet from the outside, five fingers together, thumb with your index finger, wrist straight, knees and wrists six inches apart. Take a deep breath, full lungs and kick. Both legs up at the same time, continuously keep kicking. Don't stop, roll forward. Try to get the knees in the center from the side, head up, chin up, look up, kick up, kick back, kick up one more time, kick. Change, chin to the towel, right ear to the floor, Savasana. Take some breaths, nice and slow with me. Put your hands on the floor, come to the middle of your mat. Let's sit down, hips on our heels. Separate your heels, sit down in between your heels. You can open your knees as wide as you need to. Remember the hips will one day touch to the floor. If hips are high in the air, hands stay in front of it until those hips go all the way down, then hands go on the feet. Elbow, elbow, right elbow down, left elbow down, one at a time. Top of your head, back of your head. Over time, when the shoulders touch the floor, grab your opposite elbow over the top of your head. Pull your elbows to the floor, and now take the whole rib cage and fan it all up towards the ceiling. Notice when you push more ribs up, you're feeling more arch, more back bend. Change, place your hands back to the soles of your feet and gently come up, elbow, elbow, turn around, lay down, relax the vasana. Flex your feet, arms above your head, cross your thumbs, suck your stomach in, sit up. Grab your big toes, touch your forehead to your knees, bend your elbows to the floor. All right, come to the middle of your mat for this second set, kneeling again, hips on your heels. Separate your heels, sit down in between your heels, hips and heels touching, open your knees as wide as you need to. If the hips are on the floor, heels and hips are touching, hands on the soles of our feet, one elbow at a time, right elbow down, left elbow down, top of the head, back of the head. Remember to go to your level, never overdo it. Find a spot where you can go and tolerate it so you can enjoy the whole time in the posture. Grab opposite elbow. Pull the elbows down, tuck your chin in towards your chest. It's not an all or nothing. It's a little bit each day, a little bit of change each day. And we look back and all the little bitty bitty changes have now created big change. Change, hands on the soles of your feet and come up. Elbow, elbow, hand palm, turn around, lay down on your back, Savasana. Okay, this part of the class now, we shift into some inversions. We're going down, head lower than the hips and heart in this half tortoise in our deep back bend camel most likely, and in the rabbit. When the body's most warmed up, it's gonna give us a lot of relaxation. Let's do it, flex your feet, arms above your head, cross your thumbs, sit up. Grab your big toes, touch your forehead to your knees, bend your elbows to the floor. This is half tortoise. Come to the middle of your space. Anywhere, any day, out of sequence, you can do half tortoise, knees together. Hips together, or feet together, hips on the heels. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs. Lock your elbows, suck your stomach in, keep arms with ears, keep hips on heels, and come down with a flat low back. So navel in to lengthen it, to keep it straight. Forehead on the floor, pinky fingers on the floor. Now without resting here, keep it active in your shoulders. Keep it active in your inner thighs. Keep it active in your abdominals. Push your hips back, stretch your arms forward, chin away from your chest. Make it active at the end even more. Inhale, come up, push hips onto your heel and squeeze your arms against your temple side. Change, arms down, turn around, lay down on your back. Let's take this Savasana. Right away, straighten out your arms, your legs. Allow all the muscles to soften. Soften the gaze. Soften the facial muscles. Organizing all the cells. 
Feet together, feet flex. Arms up, cross thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Grab your big toes, touch your forehead to your knees, bend your elbows to the floor. Please turn around, second set. Come to the middle of your mat, half tortoise. Ardha Kramasana, kneeling knees and feet together, feet flat. Inhale, arms above your head, palms together with a straight back. Lock out your arms, chin up, suck your stomach in. Come down front side, forehead on the floor, hips on the heels. If one separated from the other, try your best to push them both back. Hips down to the heels and forehead to the floor with a flat, straight middle back. Suck your stomach in, chin away from your chest, stretch and stretch and stretch, yogi. Inhale, use your stomach muscles and come up. Lift those arms up. Arms stay by your ears. Hips stay down on the heels. Arms down at your sides. Turn around, lie down on your back. To ball. Bring your feet together, flex your feet. Arms up over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Grab your big toes, touch your forehead to your knees, bend your elbows to the floor. Please come up to the top of your mat. This is camel. Stand up on your knees, six inches in between your knees, six inches in between your feet. Hands on your hips, your lower back. Okay, remember for this one, you don't need to go all the way back for your heels. You can always stop hands on the hips the whole time to keep them there. Push your hips forward, relax your head all the way back. Keep your hands on your low back and go back to halfway until you see some of the back wall. If you're seeing it, then right hand can try to reach for right heel. Left hand, left heel. Keep the thumbs out and the fingers gripping inward, but grab the full flesh and heel. Push your hips forward. Push your hips forward. Now push your pelvis and thighs forward. Push your stomach, hips, thighs, pelvis forward. Head back one more. Change, place those hands to your hips and then let the head come up. Hips down, turn around. And then right away, we know the importance of Savasana without a delay, just get right into it. Relax, let all the benefits integrate into all the right systems of the body. Our nervous system. Bring your feet together, flex your feet, arms up over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Grab your big toes, exhale, touch your forehead to your knees. Turn around, second set. Our nervous system receives a lot from this camel posture. Hands on your low back, push your hips forward, relax your head all the way back, go back halfway for your spine, stopping in the middle. And then if you can see the back wall, right hand, right heel. Right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel. Nice tight grip. Breathe. Notice your mouth is closed. This is a signal to the nervous system. Everything's okay. You're still breathing calmly. There's not a panic. Push your hips forward one more time. Place hands back to the hips. And gently come up. Bring your hips down. Turn around, lie down, Savasana. Breathe and relax. We just opened the front side of the spine. Let's not leave out the back side of the spine. Flex your feet for rabbit, arms above your head, cross your thumbs, stomach in. Let's sit up first, grab your big toes, exhale. Forehead on the knees, bend your elbows to the floor, exhale two times. Turn around, come to the back of your mat. If you're not sweaty, no need for that towel, grab your heels, thumbs out, fingers in. Sit up nice and tall, suck your stomach in. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, look at your stomach, and slowly round to touch the forehead to the knees. If you need to, remember your hands are there to help get your forehead down, to get it as close as the knees as you can. Then you grip back there for those heels. Lift your hips up as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel to get your hips over your knees one day. Walk your knees up one by one, knees and forehead touching, feet flat, hips up, stomach in, throat choke, pull harder, pull one more time. Change. Pull the heels to come down. That one's really hard to teach him. Turn around, lie down on your back, Savasana. Flex your feet, arms up, cross thumbs, stomach in, sit up. Grab your big toes, forehead to the knees, bend your elbows to the floor. This is rabbit again, Sasangasana. Grab your heels, thumbs out, fingers in, nice tight grip. 
Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Look at your belly button. Pull your heels, try to touch your forehead to your knees. Automatically, the top of your head will touch the floor. Then lift your hips up all the way as high as you can lift them. Roll forward to get your wrists, forearms, elbows straight. If you have elbows straight, beautiful. Feel it. Hold on to it. Hips up. Tuck your stomach in. Hips up. Pull harder, yogis. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Slowly pull the heels as we come down. Turn around, lie down on your back. Savasana. Flex your feet, arms above your head, cross your thumbs, suck your stomach in, sit up, grab your big toes, touch your forehead to your knees, bend your elbows to the floor. Let's do Janyasarasana, right leg out corner wise, bend your left knee. Create pressure from your left foot against your right thigh, your legs like an L, 90 degree angle, keep that pressure against your inner thigh from the sole of your foot. Inhale, arms over your head, interlace your fingers, turn to the right, grab your right foot two inches from the top, Bend your knee as much as you need to to touch the forehead to the knee. You can bend your knee. Once the forehead and the knee are touching, try to glide that heel out a little bit to get the leg one day straight. Keep your left knee on the floor, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Try to lift the right heel off the floor into the air. Stomach in. Change. Inhale, come up. Pressure on the sole against or against the inner thigh against the sole turn to the left grab your left foot remember you can always start with the bent knee to grab that foot tuck your chin in towards your chest touch your forehead to your knee let that leg slide away eventually get it straight roll into the right right elbow down right shoulder down suck your stomach in roll in try to lift your left heel off the floor Change. Bring your both legs out in front of you. Watch what's behind you. Quick sit up. Once your shoulders touch, sit up. Grab your big toes. Okay. Let's just scoot the hips back a few times, right, left, and right, left. Grab your big toes with your middle and index fingers. Pull your toes as hard as possible to lift your heels up. If your heels are in the air, bend at your low spine. Chin forward, look forward, pull forward. Try to touch your forehead to your toes. Shoulders back, wrist straight, look forward, pull more, pull one more time. Change. Okay, turn around, lie down on your back, Savasana. Bring your feet together, flex your feet. Arms up over your head, cross your thumbs, inhale, sit up. Grab your big toes. Touch your forehead to your knees. Let's do it again. Second set, we'll blend this one with your uh, spine twist. Bend your right left leg, extend your right leg out cornerwise, interlace your 10 fingers, turn to the right, grab your right foot two inches from the top of the toes. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, touch your forehead to your knees. Keep your left knee on the floor. Push it down if it's off. Keep both hips on the floor. Roll into the left, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll in, change. Okay, keep your arms up, lean back, put your legs out, right foot in against your left thigh, turn to the left, grab your left foot, tuck your chin, touch your forehead to your knee, bend your knee as much as you need to. Keep your two sits bones on the ground. If your right knee's lifted, notice it, if you can push the right knee down, flex your toes, tuck your chin, touch your forehead to your knee. Change, let's do a quick sit up again. What? Careful what's behind you, lie down on your back. When your two shoulders touch the floor, sit up. Arms with your ears, forehead on the knees, exhale. Hashimotanasana. Grab your big toes with your middle and index fingers. Pull your toes back. Lift your heels up off the floor. Pull your stomach in and lengthen through your low back. Pull your chest forward, pull your stomach forward. Pull your chest over your thighs. Pull, chin forward, look forward, pull the toes back. Shoulders back, wrist straight, your most flexible hips and hamstrings. Now breathe for three, breathe through two. Change, let's do spine twist. Bend your left foot, right foot over the left knee. Do not sit on your left foot, it should touch your right hip. Point your left foot toes. Remember your right foot is flat and your heel is at the knee corner. Both hips are on the floor. 
If one of your hips is not on the floor, then there's no reason that you need to keep one leg bent. That's why you keep one leg straight, you can put the other leg over the top, okay? So we need the hips to be on the floor for the spine to lengthen and gain from this posture. Both hips down. Right hand on the floor behind you, straighten the spine. We need it to be even on both sides. So get the spine long perpendicular. Left arm up and over, push the knee out of the way. Grab what you can, the knee, if it's not there, the towel that's right by the knee. Sit up tall, turn the chin over the right shoulder. You don't need the hand on the floor. Turn the palm out, wrap it behind you. Otherwise, keep it on the ground, but turn the shoulder back and open. Chin over the chest, look back. Sit up tall, two hips down, twist. Pull your stomach in, pull the elbow back, twist. Last chance, look back, twist. Change, switch, rock back. Bend the right knee, left foot up and over the right knee. Okay, so if one hip is off the floor, then you would straighten the right leg and bend the left foot so it's over the knee corner. All right. This time, left hand behind you, right arm up and over, push the knee out of the way, grab your knee with your right hand, sit up tall, lengthen the spine, turn your chin over the left shoulder, turn the left palm around you, grab your inner thigh. Sit up tall on both your sit bones, look back and twist. Twist the joints of each and every vertebra, twist and twist and twist and twist. Change. All right, come to breathing. We'll do a Savasana right after this. Kabobati breathing, exhaling only. Inhale will happen automatically. Lick your lips, swallow a couple of times. Place your hands on your knees. Keep your arms straight as you can so the chest stays lifted. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Let's begin. Say, please turn around, lie down on your back, a final savasana, a time for your entire body to melt, to surrender into your mat. Enjoy the way your body feels now. Notice any shift of thoughts. Perhaps you feel a weight has been released or some areas that were gray or more clear. This practice helps with more thought out decision making and so much more. Give your body some time to integrate all the wonderful benefits this practice provides. Connect to your breath. In and out of the nose. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.